Hello students, very good morning. So today we will uh, discuss the topic uh, electrochemical series and uh, applications of uh, electrochemical series, right? So this is a very important topic uh, for theoretical as well as entrance examination point of view. So most probably we will expect one question from this uh, topic, right? So in this electrochemical series topic student, so it has a wide range of applications. So means it is possible to uh, determine uh, the electrode potential between the two electrodes and so which of the element is acts as a reducing agent and which of the element is acts as a oxidizing agent and also it is uh, possible to determine uh, the given condition the reaction is feasibility or not means the reaction is spontaneous or not so we can explain uh, by using uh, electrochemical series uh, application right here you can see students so generally uh, in the IUPAC system, the referring uh, electrode potentials uh, is called as a standard potential. So generally, these reduction potential in left side, we have the various kind of electrode potentials. So that is uh, the top element is lithium and the bottom one is uh, uh, fluorine. Uh, we arranged uh, either increasing order or decreasing order. So here we have the various kind of electrode potential that is the standard reduction potentials. So these standard reduction potential values we obtain by using the reference electrode as a standard hydrogen electrode, right? So these uh, electrode potentials we are following under the uh, given criteria of IUPAC system, right? So what is uh, electrochemical series, right? How to define electrochemical series, right? So the elements means whatever it is, either metals and non-metals are arranged in the increasing or decreasing order of their standard reduction potential that means we can simply denote as SRP is called electrochemical series right here you can see the lithium the standard reduction potential value is minus 3.04 volts and the bottom one is fluorine the standard reduction potential value is plus 2.87 volts okay right so we can arrange so here you can see so this order indicates this order indicates the increasing order so this order indicates increasing order student right so this order indicates increasing order so means the reduction potential values are uh, increases from top to bottom and here this arrow uh, mark indicates here you can see so decreasing in SRP values, right? So this is decreasing. So means top to bottom uh, and if this is bottom to top. So the values are decreasing, right? So we can arrange the elements either increasing or decreasing order of their standard reduction potential values is known as a standard reduction means is known as a electrochemical series, right? Here, so generally, the high reduction potential element, high reduction potential means nothing but student, high positive value, right? High positive value metals, whatever it is, high positive value. Here you can see uh, fluorine. So fluorine has high reduction potential value, but it is not a metal. It is a non-metal, right? So maybe whatever it is, either metal ion or non-metal ions undergo reduction first on the cathode or it acts as a cathode that is very, very important, right? Here I will tell you one thing student. So the elements which are having the more standard reduction potential value that is very very important student. The elements which are having whatever it is either it is metal ion or non-metal ion the elements which are having more standard reduction potential value. So it's uh, undergo reduction process means uh, this uh, metal or non-metal acts as a cathode that is very very important right. So the element which low reduction potential value, so means high negative reduction potential, so undergo oxidation and it acts as an anode, right? So most probably, so these low electronegativity elements are acts as more reactive. Generally, these all are more reactive elements, right? Here you can see students. So here we are referring uh, the standard electrode potential of hydrogen. So hydrogen reduction potential value is zero volts only right you can see the above the metals or non-metals or above the elements are having negative reduction potential value and below the hydrogen uh, the values are positive reduction potential value 
right so please remember student the elements which are arranged in above the hydrogen scale with negative reduction potential values all these are acts as anodes these all are acts as anodes and so which undergo oxidation process that is very very important right so in this uh, electrochemical series the elements which are arranged in this below below the hydrogen scale so most probably these elements uh, are undergo reduction process so these may elements uh, are acts as a cathode clear student so these elements are acts as a cathode right above the hydrogen means that negative reduction potential values are acts as a anode means where the oxidation reaction is takes place below the hydrogen scale generally uh, these are acts as a cathode means where reduction reaction is takes place when we connect a the top element and bottom element so obviously we will get a, so good amount of electricity right so next we will move to the another slide right so here we will uh, see the uh, applications of uh, electrochemical series one by one student right it is possible to determine oxidizing and reducing strength of uh, elements right here so already we know very well students so the elements which are having means or the elements are which are arranged in above the hydrogen scale with a negative reduction potential values with negative reduction potential values so these all elements are acts as a good oxidation means these all are acts as a anode above the hydrogen scale with a negative reduction potential values all are acts as anode and so here these elements undergo oxidation process right so these elements undergo oxidation process so that's why above the hydrogen scale elements are acts as a good reducing agents so these all are acts as a good reducing agent right here so here you can see here uh, this is reducing agent student here, here this is i am crossing so this is a reducing agent right so reducing agent student right so the elements which are arranged in below the hydrogen scale with positive reduction potential values so generally these all are good oxidizing agent so generally the lithium is li plus to li so generally the standard reduction potential values put in minus uh, 3.04 volts so lithium is acts as an anode where oxidation reaction is takes place so generally in electrochemical series it is a strong reducing agent that is very very important right so in the case of f minus 2 f2 here you can see the reduction potential value is plus 2.87 volts student right so it is acts it is acts as a cathode it acts as a cathode so where reduction reaction is takes place where reduction reaction is takes place and so it acts as a strong oxidizing agent it acts as a strong oxidizing agent clear student right so the above element are acts as anodes and where the oxidation reaction takes place these all are acts as a good reducing agents the below the elements uh, below the hydrogen scale elements all are having positive reduction potential values than hydrogen scale so these elements are are acts as a good oxidizing agents and these all are acts as a cathodes where reduction reaction is takes place so this is the possible to determine so which of the element is acts as a oxidizing agent and which of the element is acts as a reducing agent right next displacement of uh, one element by other right here you can see student so generally uh, the displacement right the metals which uh, lie higher in the emf series right uh, can displace those elements which uh, lie below in the series for example so we have copper so which is uh, here i will write hydrogen scale so hydrogen scale i will write the standard reduction potential value 0.0 volts where the copper reduction potential value is 0.34 volt student here you can see so this is the zinc uh, zn plus 2 by zn student the standard reduction potential value is minus 0.76 volt student right so this is the standard reference electrode value here you can see the copper value the copper plus 2 to copper the standard reduction potential value is more 
so this more standard reduction potential elements will displace the less reduction potential element right so therefore the copper will displace zinc from the solution we know because the copper has more positive reduction potential more electrode potential than the zinc so what it indicates student the below the elements means the elements which are having positive reduction potential values will displace the above elements that is the concept so that is displacement of one element by other clear student right so next we will move to the another exam another application right here you can see predicting the liberation of hydrogen right so here by in dilute uh, dilute acids right all the metals are having negative electrode potential value all the metals are having negative reduction potential values right so show greater already we know very well students so generally uh, negative reduction potential values so loss the electrons very easily this is a simple concept loss negative reduction potential values negative srp elements loss electrons easily tendency to loss electrons easily and they will act as a reducing agent right so they will act as a good reducing agent is that clear student they will act as a good reducing agent right so these uh, elements which are having negative reduction potential values will displace hydrogen from its dilute acids for example here i will write uh, the electrode potential of zinc is minus 0.76 right so zinc will displace zinc will displace hydrogen from sulfuric acid right so will displace zinc will displace hydrogen from sulfuric acid right so hydrogen gas liberation right and also zinc will liberate uh, react with two moles of hcl and it results to the formation of uh, ZnCl2 and with the liberation of hydrogen gas, right? So Zn react with uh, two moles of uh, HNO3. So here it leads to the formation of uh, zinc nitrate. So ZnNO3 taken twice and with the liberation of uh, hydrogen gas, right? So this zinc will displace hydrogen because the zinc has more negative reduction potential than hydrogen. Here the hydrogen reduction potential value is. Uh, 0 0.0 volts but the zinc reduction potential value has a minus 0 0.76 volts right and also fe will displace fe will displace hydrogen from dilute sulfuric acids means it leads to the formation of feso4 plus h2 gas right so but copper will not displace hydrogen from dilute sulfuric acid this reaction is not exist so because student the copper reduction potential value is greater than the hydrogen electrode potential value so right so those elements are having greater the reduction potential values will not displace the hydrogen gas from its dilute acids right that is liberation of hydrogen that is the prediction of hydrogen gas right so next we will uh, move to the another ex another application that is relative age of oxidation or reduction right so generally here you can see higher the value of standard reduction potential value higher the value of standard reduction potential value so means here more positive reduction potential right so the more positive reduction potential value so they cannot lose electron easily so fluorine cannot lose electron easily so always it seeks for the electron so therefore here so these metals uh, these elements undergo reducing so means uh, these metals are undergo uh, reduction pro means uh, reduction reaction is uh, possible so the reduction reaction is possible so means nothing but reduction so they can liberated at cathode or they can deposited at cathode right so where the elements are having negative reduction potential value so where the elements are having negative reduction potential values like lithium so the tendency to loss electrons very easily so they can loss electrons very quickly so therefore uh, uh, tendency to loss electrons generally these all are acts as a good uh, reducing agent so therefore here so these all are acts as anodes so these all are acts as a anodes right so these all are as acts as a anode so means here if these all are acts as anodes means what it what will happen student so generally the oxidation reaction is possible right the oxidation reaction is takes place right so therefore student so we will conclude the 
elements which are having more negative reduction potential values than the hydrogen so these elements undergo oxidation these elements undergo oxidation reaction where the uh, means where anode means where the where the oxidation reaction takes place at anode right the elements which are having the more positive reduction potential than hydrogen scale so these elements undergo reduction process means where they are going to be reduced so at a cathode right so this is the relative age of oxidation or reduction right student right so next uh, we will move to the right so here the calculation of emf of the cell this is very very important application right so calculation of emf of the cell right so when we connected for example here you can see student so we have uh, two half cells this is one half cell and this is another half cell so one half cell with a zinc electrode and another half cell with a copper electrode so these are connected through external circuit right so zinc is acts as a anode so copper is acts as a cathode so these are uh, immersed in own ions containing solution so copper is a uh, copper rod is immersed in the copper sulfate solution zinc rod immersed in the zinc sulfate solution right so what will happen student it is possible to determine the electrode potential between the two electrodes so how much amount of uh, potential is established during the chemical reaction so it is possible to determine so how to determine so by using the formula that is emf of the cell or e cell that is equal to e not cathode e not cathode minus e not anode e not cathode minus e not or we can write as e not right minus e not left right so it is possible by using the formula it is possible to determine the electrode potential or emf of the cell for example here you can see so this is the copper and this is the zinc so here generally the zinc is the copper zinc uh, copper is a cathode and uh, zinc is anode so therefore here so write down the values of uh, this electrode and this electrode uh, subtract the cathode value minus anode value then you will get the so reduction potential standard reduction potential which is established in the voltmeter or galvanometer right so this is the calculation of emf of the cell right so next we will move to the comparison of reactivities of metals right here generally we know very well student the relative is uh, with which the various spaces of metals and ions may be oxidized or reduced indicated by reduction potential already we know very well student right so the elements which are having negative reduction potential value than the hydrogen so generally it's uh, we know very well so generally the oxidized where these are going to be oxidized right so the elements which are having more positive reduction potential than hydrogen electron so they were reduced at uh, cathode right so right the metals with lower reduction potential are not reduced easily right All, this is very very important because the elements which are having the elements which are having more positive reduction potential values so they cannot uh, tendency to lose electrons easily so there if the electrons can if the electrons lose easily so generally these elements these metals are acts as a reducing agents if cannot lose electrons easily so obviously oxidizing takes place so therefore they will acts as a good oxidizing uh, means they are acts as a good oxidizing agent right so fluorine is a good oxidizing agent because uh, they cannot lose electrons uh, uh, easily so that's why it is a good oxidizing agent right next the last concept is uh, uh, that is the application last application the predicting uh, the spontaneity of uh, or feasibility of reaction means whether uh, based on the emf value based on the emf of the cell so we can predict uh, whether uh, the reaction uh, based on the emf value student based on the emf value so we can predict uh, the delta g is i mean the change in the free energy is uh, spontaneous so generally we know very well student as per thermodynamic aspect if the delta g value is negative so generally it is a spontaneous process it is a spontaneous process right so generally electrochemical series electrochemical cells 
the delta G value is negative. So because during the chemical reaction, it converts into the electrical energy. So that's why electrochemical cells are spontaneous means the delta G value will be negative. But in the case of electrolytic cell, the electrical energy is converted into the chemical energy. So that's why uh, the energy value, the delta G value will be positive. So that's why it is not a spontaneous, it is a non-spontaneous reaction. So please remember the electrochemical cell, the delta G value is negative. So that's why these are spontaneous reaction. So based on the elect standard reduction potential values, it is possible to predict the spontaneity or feasibility of a reduction reaction, right? Here you can see uh, the delta G value we know very well students. So the delta G is equal to minus N F E naught cell, right? Here you can see student, if the E naught value, E naught cell value is positive, then the delta G value is equal to negative. If the delta G value is negative, then it is feasible, means it is a spontaneous reaction. So therefore, based on the EMF of the cell to predict whether it is spontaneous or not, right? For example, if E naught cell value is negative, E naught cell value is negative. So you can substitute in this student, so minus into minus plus, so the delta G value will be negative. So when the electrochemical means the standard direction potential value is negative, the delta G value will be positive. If the delta G value will be positive, generally it is a non-spontaneous reaction. Means, okay, right, if the delta G value is negative, when the E naught value will be positive. So this is the prediction by knowing the standard reduction potential of various elements. This is electrochemical series and application, right student? So this topic is very, very important. Most of the questions are uh, asking in the entrance examination point of view uh, based on electrochemical series and application. I hope you understand this video student. So please like, share, comment and please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Right. And also please press bell icon symbol. You will get notification.